and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer's Pursuit. We're going to be uh, playing another viewer submitted deck for Meme Tier Monday here where we're going to be playing all sorts of one ofs because we are trying to find the pursuit of perfection where we can... Um, Sorry about that, where if we play 20 cards with different names, then we play our 5 mana slow spell, it resolves, we get a 1 mana 30-30 in play, uh, with Overwhelm, of course, the Catastrophe. So that's our goal, we also have Heimerdinger as kind of our backup plan, just a really powerful champion um, that can get us a whole bunch of turrets and, you know, do all the Heimerdinger stuff. So that's what we got, so we got Heimer's Pursuit. And uh, the person that donated for this did say that they also uh, took this deck idea from a Mogwai deck again. Um, and it looks looks pretty sweet. So, you know, I, I like playing decks like this with all sorts of one ofs because all your games are different. And uh, you just have like the card for whatever situation that you need. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we're able to be able to play 20 different stuff, 20 different cards. Um, <clears throat> as far as cards that can be multiples. Um, you know, like Rummage can help us go find different cards that, that we need. Um, Coral Creatures creates a spell in hand. You know, we need to like create extra spells because we need to be able to play extra spells to get to 20 different spells. Trail of Evidence, Flash of Brilliance, these create extra spells. Jaw Hunter creates a sea monster. You know, the pick a card can get a whole bunch of fleeting stuff. But then we have things like, then we also have our, our Plunder cards. They can steal different spells with different names. You know, Slide of Hand can steal something. The Black Market Merchant can. Pilfered Goods can steal some different cards. Um, and see, so, you know, like, we're using all this kind of stuff. Back Alley Barkeep creates a new card for us. Um, you know, our Salvage is, is some good card advantage. Same with the Zap Spray Fin. Yordle Grifter creating Warning Shot and maybe stealing a card. Um, so we have a lot of things that can create different card advantage and create different spells uh, na you know, spells with different names to help us uh, power up our pursuit of perfection. So that's our goal here. So we're going to be playing. Uh, we're going to be playing over in normal, which we're doing here today for meme tier Monday. We're going to go go play five games, <clears throat> and let's see if we can find that pursuit, or at the very least, make a whole bunch of turrets. <laughs> if not. And let's keep these others. I could see Mulliganing the Gotcha because it costs four mana right now and send it back and see if we have it cost two later. But it's a good spell. We'll keep it. Uh, yesterday I built a new deck idea I had. Played a lot of games today. Won almost all of them. Okay. I think you found something cool. All right, so, but no, no spoilers of what it is though, Cabo. Sounds like no spoilers. That's a really good two mana card to make. Because that also gives us the Mushroom Cloud. So our one Trail of Evidence is going to be three different cards. That's quite good. And I'll just go ahead and cast that right now. I'm planning on playing Jaw Hunter's next turn to challenge Disciple. I guess if I, if I don't cast it, I could have had Gotcha. Puff caps, if they draw a puff cap, that helps turn on my plunder. Is that all? Danger paid. Yeah, there is one copy of Clump of Wump somewhere in our deck, but <clears throat> it's somewhere in the deck. The it's not necessarily on top or anything like that. Plaza Guardian. Finally, someone with class. The pleasure to see you too. Okay, so we haven't played a spell yet. Oh, there we go. Now it says. Okay, 
I thought we had played spells. Yeah, because we played Trail of Evidence. It's just blood, darling. Mm. Maybe we should have just played the Make It Rain while we were definitely killing those things. So our risky lines, like if they just kill my 3-2, that's a lot of damage that we could be potentially staring down, especially if like the Mega Rain misses and hits like Crimson Curator, this Aristocrat, and one to them. Obviously, I'm blocking that. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. What if we block over here? Go down to four? Ugh. Basically, just has to hit. We have to hit this 3-1 at least. So it's five extra damage, you know, like this is like the difference of five life, whether or not to have this 3-3 three, three off the battlefield or not. <clears throat> Alright, we did block... The big one now, a gotcha could kill that, maybe. We can't play any two spells, can we? We only have one thing that costs three. So we can only play one thing this turn. The best thing in our hand is the Plaza Guardian. But with that being said, going with the 5-5 five five makes it... We get to save two mana, and that does make it easier to play two spells next turn. Pretty nice combo. It's pretty nice. All right, eight out of ten for Sub Percival. Finally, someone with class. The pleasure to see you too, my dear. Probably attacking, right? I don't think I'm risking risking losing one mana if they don't attack. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So what happens if I do that block? We go down to three. All right, we're down to three. better than using a, a gotcha singular removal spell on the curator and then blocking something else to get more things out. Oh, 
Um, I I don't know, Andre. I don't I don't. I'm sorry. What seems to be the problem? Looking for some action, Ed. Blood exists to be pumped, no? right, Let's start making some elusive turrets. Round and round and round it goes. Rap shot. Yeah, Mason, reporting for duty. Down to you one. It's not very much life. Putting back the pursuit of perfection um, because we don't need it yet. We're, we'll be drawing a good amount of cards. We'll find it later if we do need it. Uh, there's a lot of things that kill us at burst speed now. Then finding Crimson Disciple. I think that was just created by the curator, right? Yeah, it was just created there. There's a lot of things that kill us at burst speed. That does right there. Almost stabilized. Almost stabilized. No system is truly error free. But not quite. Need needed just a little bit more life. We saw like all the the card advantage and stuff. Like, <clears throat> you know, if we each had like ten more life, we were about to. Uh, to do a, a whole bunch more stuff, but that's all right. Okay, we're going to get rid of the Heimerdinger, and I'm going to keep all this against the Elusives. Best for me would be they have Green Glade Duo, yes, and and this kills Green Glade Duo. Come on, no Elixir of Iron. Let this kill it. Perfect. Now we get to Black Market Merchant. Perfect. Wow. They were all in on that Green Glade duo, it looks like. Our hand was going to be awesome, though. You know, like, we did have the... Uh, I mean, that that was just a perfect start for us. We had the Pilfered Goods that turn as well. Yeah, that was a, that was a perfect start. Okay, Gangplank Sejuani. Alright, I like it. We're just playing regular Bilgewater. A regular old bilge water plus his flash of brilliance. I never finger on the trick. Dex OP. Too tough. In range. So I take one extra damage for waiting, but we we're able to turn on plunder for merchant by waiting. <laughs> nice cost reduction. Destruction feeds my fire. I do like that card quite a bit. Dang, 
Down to 12. Another value of coin. Yeah, you don't want to class me. Jacket Butcher. Uh -oh. That thing's scary. They're already at four out of five. And they have a warning shot. Um That thing's scary. A game. Go on then. Well, I can, uh, let's see, we could warning shot, sleight of hand, see what they can give us, um, and then I could still, so doing this first, to, this is like my only way to clear out, uh, spell me an S thing, so Euro Grifter, or not Euro, sorry, Zap Sprayfin, so then I can play Zap Sprayfin and a tune. So we're just going to draw our own card <laughs> that they take. If I would have had seven mana, I would have played this because that could block Gangplank. Maybe even playing Zap Spray Finn. Doesn't matter because the gangplank attack trigger. Hey, big Alfredo. Yuck. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. So maybe I should just play. Butcher, Beast Below. Some things that can kind of block. Without me. Let's get to it. Give us some room. So I'm like going down to one right now, I think. Just one as is. If they if they just attack right here because they'll do two to everything. Oh gosh. I'm drawing a lot of cards. Oh no, it's still zero? If I block there still? Yeah, this this thing does the seventh. Hmm. Alright, well, flash of brilliance. No. Mind meld you slow. Hmm. Yep. Game plank is scary. Plank is scary. All right, one and two. 
One and two. Wow. <laughs> this could be a lot of spells in a turn. Um, if we had a Heimerdinger, this this could be pretty awesome, having, you know, the double flash of brilliance. Heimerdinger, let's go for it. I kind of like it, this. Um, there we go. There's Heimer. Uh, no, I would not. Senathon, no. Pickpocket's probably just gonna trade with Tracker. You know, probably have to like Mystic Shot Tracker. My shield is yours. How can I help? That wasn't. Huh. Wasn't the card they barriered. Probably barriered a Fiora. They're gonna play next turn. Smells like opportunity. So I'd like to have less things in play. No closer. Just borrow it. <laughs> this green glade caretaker can do a whole bunch of damage. You know, it's, it says one two, but it's it's already a, a three two because of that barrier. But it's just it's a three two that could just continue to grow. So just going to get rid of it. Changes but never breaks. River Shaper. <laughs> well, at least we don't have to deal with this thing. Right over your head. Yeah, they, I think I think the most likely scenario right now is that the Key Guardian was like that. We still haven't seen what it's on. The most likely scenario is the Key Guardian was on a Fiora. And that Fiora is gonna kill my Heimerdinger. Strength and grace, beauty is the blade. Round and round and round it goes. I oh, saw that one coming. I'm glad I'm glad it took the single combat though. You know, like instead of just Heimerdinger dying normally, like it would have just died to the Fiora normally, at least we got the single combat out of their hands. No. Kill the river shaper. That was the most important thing to kill, was the river shaper. To put their river shaper into my hand after this make it rain resolves. This will be quick. A gift from the river folk. Oh, 
I think we just keep going with the elusives. That's not bad. Yeah, we stole the Bright Seal formation with a, a Pilfer Goods that was not uh, plundered. Strike without worry. This is like my favorite card, so first of all, such a great entrance. Meow, 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 meow. Alright, down to three. Cool. Got our own single combat. So that means they're out of single combats. They've played two, we stole one. We got a Chevalier. Hmm. How close? Ugh, Eleven. Not very. Counter and strike. Sweep them away. It's gonna die either way. Is it really worth spending two mana to kill this River Shaper? The River Shaper is still gonna strike, and so they'll still draw a spell. Either way. It's not like I care about being at nine or being at seven. You think I should have had one of these fight it to remove the shield? Um, I don't know if we need to do that. <clears throat> there we go. I want to just draw some more cards. That's a card I wanted, wanted to find. That was only Fiora's second kill. Fiora's didn't matter that much. It's just using so much like with the single combat when we could play a progress day and really dig deeper and help find something to finish the game if if they had answers to those other elusives. Yeah, Fiora just had the one kill. Because it wasn't, you know, you could Fiora wasn't leveled up. Um, so that, that kill did level up to Fiora, but that's okay. Alright, so Percival, awesome, but it's it is really hard to like, you have to play a lot of spells to get Sub Percival to be the 10. You don't really get there by turn 5. So, Sub Percival is like kind of even later than turn 5. So, I'm going to just go ahead and mulligan at that um, Sub Percival. Three three jacket butcher. Let's go. We aggro. We aggro now. This land is ours. 
Man, we were really good at making Kempunk pickpocket. The winter's claw. All right, well, pickpocket is even more valuable than the three three. So we're gonna keep Kemp Kempunk pickpocket alive. Smells like opportunity. And we want them to be able to want it to be able to strike. No. Save me, Luke. Well, that's too bad. The trap is set. Um. gone with these and then you know have merchant pilfer goods but I'll just still just save the three mana yuck now the good news is now they just pumped up some things, and they may have the one mana 5-5 five five on top still, I suppose. Oh, cool, I'll take that. What else you got? Alright, no one mana 5-5, five five, but some pretty big stuff. their first time leveling up Sejuani, right? Yeah, that was their first time doing damage to me. So next turn is turn 7. Probably go Shipwreck Hoarder next turn. those treasures in our uh, deck somewhere as fast as possible. I've dressed for the occasion in red. There we go, treasure trove. Love it. That's six that's potentially six different things. Uh, potentially. up Vladimir. We're gonna we're gonna make ruination. Like that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna cast treasure trove and it's gonna create ruination. Ready for this? Treasure trove ruination. Wasn't that good, to be honest. Well, it's not a very good treasure trove. Deploying. 
I don't get to do anything with either of these cards. Or that one. <laughs> Any of those cards. Yeah, that was a... That was a pretty poor treasure trove. I guess I should just play this Crimson Awakener first. Before playing the 5-8. Yeah, I should have just gone that, that, that. I was kind of hoping. I was hoping that passing the turn. Yeah, I mean, I shouldn't. I just shouldn't have played that Leviathan yet. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna cast him for pursuit of perfection. to help out. Oh yeah, Callista bring back Yordle Grifter. That's pretty awesome, is it? I guess you don't get the or let's see, is it is it all is Yordle Grifter all summon? Yeah, it is. Because Allegiance is summon looks at like summon, not play, right? That is awesome. So yeah, you get to steal a card and a warning shot. Draw two. Only the finest serve. Eminently logical. Yeah, have that kind of stuff with like miss call. I like it. All right, we're going to need to get pretty lucky with this flash of brilliance. To stay alive. is not getting lucky with the Flash of Brilliance. <sighs> Alright, well, let's make some blocks. You can block there, you can block there, you can block there, you can block there, you can block there. And that's me going to three. I guess it would just be better to do that. I still go to three, but then all their stuff dies. I 
I am so glad they're not doing that on something with Overwhelm. They just do that on Sejuani, I'm dead. Uh, I guess I'm not dead, I'd go to two. Or go to one, I'd go down to one. Oh, they just have infinite fury, the Norns. Yeah, still just going down to one. Um... Yeah, they could yeah, they could have just used it on the bird. Yeah, kept the bird alive. Killed me that way. Yeah, just putting one of them on the bird would have killed me. They must have thought that that was going to be lethal Let me show still. You. Oh, come on. And then they're, they're just going to kill me with this now. He had the false sense of security. That could be a cool way to win the game. Might as well go for it, right? No, they had transfusion. Dang. That could have been a cool way to win. <laughs> could have been a cool way to win. All right, but there we go. There's Heimer's Pursuit. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly what we were missing with the deck. Uh, you know, like what what we really struggled with. You know, large creature. Like we don't we don't really. I don't know. I mean, it's just it's just this kind of deck's not going to be amazing, right? Like you need you need your cards to kind of line up for you. Like you need to get lucky with stuff lining up, and it's not always going to happen. It may be like too many of not very good one and two mana cards. Like even though you need to cast a whole bunch of different cards. Um, you know, you have things like Pool Shark, Cutthroat. Uh, Clump of Wumps, I guess, is kind of good with this. Uh, Eager Apprentice. I don't know. Like Maybe we just have too many of these things that aren't that great. And not enough like interaction and things like that. Uh, Slide of Hand didn't look good. Yeah, we did struggle with the aggressive decks, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, like, you're really... Yeah, with really trying this, I mean... I guess... I mean, we could make the deck a whole lot better, but uh, by just, you know, just by not playing Pursuit of Perfection, not playing all these one ofs and playing, you know, a whole bunch of Mystic Shots and things like that, like a bunch of Mystic Shots, Black Market Merchants. You know, like, we could play just basically the, the Heimerdinger uh, Twisted Fate deck, but that's, of course, a different deck. One thing that I could see changing, because we only do have the three champions, the three Heimerdingers, I wonder if we should just have more champions. Like, these champions are good. Like, Twisted Fate's awesome. Like, we get a lot of different variety with Twisted Fate. 
Like maybe we should just have a Twisted Fate and a Vi. Like both basically both Twisted Fate and Vi are great. I could see I could see playing uh one copy of each of those. At least and even just a I don't know, just play like a misfortune. This is just a good three mana card. Maybe we just should just have like you know, maybe you should just have like some champions that are kind of powerful um in there as well. Yeah, that's kind of what our uh that's kind of what our, our deck's doing is um playing a lot of cards that create random cards. Uh, yeah, basically like instead of sleight of hand, you can have Vi. It's like how can we fit like the three champions? One Vi, one Misfortune, one Twisted Fate. So like Slide of Hand can go. That one can go. Probably the cutthroat. I know it kind of turns on uh plunder a little bit, but it can go. And then what's the next worst card? I would definitely replace the sleight of hand, 100%. Probably Eager Apprentice. Probably the next week, weakest card. So those are probably our three weakest cards that we could just, instead of those, play Misfortune, Twisted Fate, and Vi. And that probably gives us a little bit more power um you know to do different things with um yeah but pool shark also only costs one and and kind of replaces itself a little bit it's not something i i love either but is shell shocker is shell shocker just completely better than um whatever it's called anyway Eager Apprentice. So Shell Shocker costs one. What's up, Nick? Hey, Nick. Uh, Shell Shocker costs one and replaces the and the one with the spell mana and is a two one. This costs two and gets two spell mana. Isn't so like even if you wanted to play that card, isn't Shell Shocker just an upgrade? I feel like it is. Like playing it like a one mana card. Um. Even Warren is also just fine. The vulnerable draw card. This card's just fine. Hired Gun's awesome. That could definitely be a two drop to play. So yeah, there's I feel like there's I feel like we could have some some better card choices in some of these spots, but yeah, it's the slide of hand needs to go. Um, we talked about kind of this before. There's a lot of good stuff towards the top end too, like Brash Gambler, uh, getting you extra draw steps to be able to play more things. Chump Wump getting you those other mushroom clouds. Uh, maybe, you know, like that you can also maybe have like your rummage for like those mushroom clouds or other stuff like that. Um, just even just playing some of these other sea monsters, like Abyssal Eye being a nice elusive that's drawing cards for you. Um... I mean, I'm a big fan of Razor Scale Hunter. Experimenter can be like a, a draw three if you need it. Devour is a good removal spell. There are some some more powerful things. I wonder if we just didn't didn't have enough power in here. All right, but there we go. That's Heimer's Pursuit. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all meme tier Monday. I appreciate that. We got some more meme tier decks for tomorrow. We're going to be doing those as well. And up next, we're going to be playing some bonus games for those of y'all here still in Twitch. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Heimer's Pursuit, and I'll see you for the next video.